What's going on guys, Kyger here, and the One Punch Man characters have been out for a bit now, so I talked with several of the bigger whales and the high tier PvP, and we're going to look at a full Genos guide, let's get into it. We're going to look at three matches of high tier brawl, and these are some of the numbers you're going to be able to look forward to in the future if you build Genos yourself. Uh, talking from others... Uh, as a Kina or Orbia, this is a very powerful unit for you. Uh, Khalif doesn't get as much because of the damage ramp. Uh, let's see. Uh, he's a great frontliner, so uh, you really want to draft him into other uh, heavy defensive comps. Uh, he can kind of break the defensive meta by applying destroy on the entire team and just trying to push through with the ramping of damage um, with his crit damage up uh, he gets actually funnily enough hard countered by Garu because Genos is doing the AoE damage which is going to hit the Garu and trigger the Garu's passive to get him lower and lower to trigger his uh, Super Saiyan mode and really go off and with the elemental advantage he's going to kill the genos so you don't want to pick genos into garu or other water damage dealers uh, he's great against cleefs and kinas because of how uh, they generally do their monster lineups uh, the more melee they have the better he gets uh, to never use him against a uh, full range uh, do, 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 do. and ideally he wants to focus one uh, frontline unit and then kill the backline with his uh, first skill triggering the second skill uh, to show you the, uh, the setup we're going to be looking at let's check out how big this genos is so this is the Genos we're going to be looking at. Uh, he's got 3,200 attack, tw uh, about 2,600 defense, uh, 83,000 uh, HP, no attack speed, good crit rate, crit damage to 12. Uh, the only so what I like to tell people to do with your brawlers is 8, uh, 80k HP and about 3k defense. This is right there also throwing that high crit rate crit damage which is what you're really going to struggle with when you're when you currently have five star runes on global but if we look at the rune set that we're rocking we have uh rage so crit damage and then we also have destroy now what destroy does is it destroys 30 percent of damage dealt uh to targets hp Remember, that has to actually deal damage. So if they have a shield, then if you deal damage to the shield, that does not get destroyed on their HP. So if I deal 100 damage to them, uh, no shield, no, no, no nothing, I just deal 100 damage, I will destroy 30 of their max HP. That is a yellow bar. Cleef uh, has that on his first skill. And Genos is just trying to push through them, especially because once he goes into his second skill or ulti uh, the, he's going to have the damage ramp from his first active skill but now let's jump into the gameplay so on this first one I'm going to talk through what's going on and in the second and third one I'm just going to have it play with background music let me know in the comment section down below which you prefer I'm currently working on a Garu one just like this but if we take a look Masters 2, Grand Masters 3, these are high, high tier players. And as you see, there's LDs on uh, LD on his side, LD on the other, but it's 4 star or whatever. Uh, just very, very powerful players with uh, very powerful meta units. As you see, he banned Garu because it wrecks the Genos and he was trying to make this Genos for us. So if we take a look... Uh, you like to do a uh, light weapon on Kina because it allows you to burst heal quickly. As you see, it has three uses. And if we're watching, uh, 
he's really just letting Genos do his thing. And what's powerful with Genos is you can watch the skill cooldowns in the top right. And then you see the uh, S3 just went on cooldown, uh, letting you know it's time to go in. And he's best paired with someone that can do another style of CC. Currently, uh, he his light unit uh, applies a CC effect, allowing his uh, S2 ability to trigger his S3 for free. That's a huge thing for Genos. He does the AoE uh, crit damage taken up, and then if they're under CC, triggers the S3. So he is the solo DPS with two support, well, three supports when you count the Kina, right? And that's why he also works with Orbia because Orbia can apply CC. Cleef can as well, but you really want uh, things to be focused in a certain way in front of Genos. Uh, Cleef, it's a little bit harder. Uh, maybe if you have another tanker, it'll be fine, but just in general, those are what I see as the best units for it. Switches to him, and as you see, uh, immediately used S3 because he was in CC'd to try to get that kill as quick as possible. Use the S1 to get the damage ramp, and then switched back off. Uh, only do that when your skills are off cooldown. So the moment they go on cooldown, so you can effectively get a second or third uh, skill as you're going. As you see, he's focusing down the unit. He used Genos Ultimate for that ramp. And look at that HP destruction on Espino. Uh, Espino's finally gone. The Light Staff coming in clutch. And now we're on the Shushu. Shushu can heal for a butt ton, but when it, as you see, a quarter of its HP is destroyed, uh, even if you can max heal, you're eventually going to die to the destroy runes which is why it's become such, such meta up at the top ranks. Uh, what I didn't call out is the Espino effectively got CC locked earlier in the match uh, because it just could not use skills due to uh, being che uh, CC chained by the Genos. Uh, Genos did the damage ramp. And then that triggered the S3 for free because of how his S2 works, allowing you allowing you to get that stun and really go ham on the opponent. As I said, I'm going to just play the second and third match with music in the background. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you prefer. Until next time, guys.
What if I'm incomplete without you by my side? down. 